Hey, I'm prepped and primed and ready to go. Today we're doing a little get ready with me, but because Valentine's Day is coming up and I found a couple of sales you might be interested in, I thought I would share them while I'm getting ready. And I just wanted to touch base on this little wound or injury on my eye here. Uh, if you follow me on Instagram, I fell in my own home. I was alone. My dogs didn't run to my rescue either. Uh, I don't know how it happened. I was editing, got up to go to the bathroom and turned off of the rug and um, smack dab down on my face. It really, I slammed hard um, and it uh, started to bleed. I really thought that I would have a whole bruised side of the face for as hard as I hit, but I did not and I think it is healing up really well and it just has a slight bruising around here and it's just a little tender to touch not too bad but i think today i can finally put some makeup on it so we're going to do a get ready with me and i'm going to make you aware of some sales that are going on and i'm also going to share a new outfit with you that i really think a lot of you are going to like uh, today's video, I am going to be using mostly drugstore with the exception of a few products that I just don't find worth uh, sacrificing for the price of a drugstore product because with my aging skin, some things are just important, my friends. All right, so we are going to get started. I'm not really going to talk about what I'm doing. I know you guys love my tutorials. Um, and I'll pretty much do a basic look today so that it's really easy for you. All right, so we're going to get started. And I did want to quickly say that this sponge I talked about, it is not yet available from Refer. When it is, I will let you know because she is a winner. Okay, all right. All right, so we are going to get started. And the first sale I'm going to tell you about comes from City Beauty. I'm just going to be getting my little thingies out of my basket here. I should have been better prepared. But the first sale that I'm going to talk about is from City Beauty. And it is starting today, which is February 10th. And it will go until February 14th. And it is 35% off site wide. So anything that you may love from City Beauty, you can get at 35% off, and I do have to look at what the code is. The code is CUPID35. I will put all of the information below. And of course, you have all seen me use the Invisi Crepe Body Balm. I absolutely love it. It is one of my most favorite products of theirs. And I, and I especially with losing weight, I'm really focusing on the underarm area and I do mix some of it with the uh, Body Sculpt Firming Complex. I am really trying, because when I lean forward on the arm, it's really wrinkly, but that's, but that's what happens when we lose weight. And the more I tone my muscle, the more that'll go away. But I have really had good luck with the Invisi Crepe Body Balm. I love it. I use it on my shins. I use it on my knees. And I think a lot of people, they go and they look for, you know, uh, these amazing results. It makes my skin look better. And I do think that I have been using it for a couple of years now, and I do think it has really helped. So I will continue to use it, and like I said, I do like to mix it with the firming, but you don't have to if you're looking just to take care of your crepey skin. And another item that I love and I use with my gua sha tool is the multi-action sculpting cream, and you have seen me demonstrate that in a video. But I like to use that along the jawline and my neck, especially when I'm using my gua sha tool. And I do mix it in with the ultra firming dry oil and it gives just the right of slip that you need to use with a gua sha. And again, I've been using it for a couple of years now on my jaw. And uh, if you're somebody who absolutely adores all their plumping lip glosses, you can get 35% off now. And I also like their mascara. So that is a really good savings. And again, that is from February 10th through the 14th. And I have to say, before I go any further, I love this Wet n Wild Foundation Dewy Finish. Absolutely love it. And everything will be listed and linked below, including all of the City Beauty items I just talked about, okay? Another right, so good savings that I have for you comes from Zip Beauty, and that is the nanocurrent, microcurrent tool that I am now using. I love it. 
I love the phone app that comes with it. Uh, I just think the ease of using it and the comfort level of using it is fabulous and I like that it has the nano currents. They are offering 25% off of the Zip Microcurrent Nano Current Tool for the month of February. I think that's a great, great savings. So I wanted to make you aware of that. So if you have been interested or have the Zip Beauty Tool on your wish list, 25% off for the month of February. I think that's a great saving. So right there, I have two fabulous sales, one from City Beauty and one from Zip Beauty. Well, the last one comes from Silk and Pure. Uh, I'm actually wearing one of their robes. And the set of pajamas that you see me modeling here, <laughs> the color is sensational. I absolutely love it. It is the beautiful, I'll, I'll look up the actual color. For me, I like to just describe it for you. And it is almost a minty green sage. And the trim is a gorgeous, I'm going to say forest turquoise green. So it's not that bright turquoise. It has a little bit of forest green behind the blue. And it's just Gorgeous, my friends. These pajamas are beautiful. And for the month of February, she is offering 30% off. But she is also doing a little giveaway. And for one lucky winner and her best friend, she calls it her Valentine Galentine giveaway, um, you will be able to select a pair of pajamas for you and a good friend. So that could be your mother, your daughter, your grandmother, anybody you feel you want to gift a beautiful silk pair of pajamas. And Silk and Pure is a wonderful company. I really do, the, the woman who uh, owns it, her name is Tanya. Uh, she believes in giving back, so it's a small business. It is woman-owned, and she gives back. So well, I, I really do like supporting her because she's a small business. So oh. how many of you have this powder from Flower Beauty? I don't even know if they make it anymore. I hope they do. I am you know, not the type of person that goes through my stuff and says, oh, they can't get this anymore. I just grab things I love, and I use them. So I don't know if this is available. I think it probably is because it was a real, it's a good seller for Flower. It's the satin finishing powder. I compare this to the original uh, La Mer powder that's no longer made. I love it. It gives a beautiful glow. So if you're someone who is like me, aging with drier skin, just to have that subtle glow without a lot of sparkle, mm, it really brings your face to life, my friends. So what I do is I use my Laura Mercier underneath my eyes because I don't want the glow underneath my eyes. But I'll use my Laura Mercier in the T-zone area where I have a tendency to shine up a little bit uh, these days. That's changing. I don't, and even if I didn't shine up, I don't like my nose shiny at all. So I do so, just a regular translucent powder in the T-zone area. But I do love to add a little bit of glow to the rest of my face because for me, I think it's just a more youthful look. Now, of course, if you have oily skin, you are totally not going to agree with what I just said. <laughs> so I am also going to be trying something new here for my eyebrows, so it could be a hot mess, I don't know. But so many people left in the comments that this by e.l.f., the Soap Brow, is very, very similar and much more affordable to the Anastasia Brow Freeze that I demonstrated in my video the other day. So we are going to see. So I'm gonna go ahead and just give it a try. It looks a little bit different than the Anastasia. It's cloudy, milky white instead of clear. I'm gonna take my little, and it's much harder. So I'm gonna load it up. It's much harder. I might've got a bad one. I just bought it, but it seems very, very dry. Let me know in the comments if it's supposed to be this dry. I don't think it's gonna work. It's very, very dry. Oh yeah, I think I got a bad one. Oh yeah, I got a bad one. It came out like a candle. <laughs> All right, well, we're gonna scratch that and then I'm gonna use the Anastasia brow because this one here is dry and I'll go and try and get another one. That was the last one. 
So I don't know if I'll be able to find another one, but I'm going to go ahead and just use this one because I have it here. I tried. I tried to go drugstore, but it didn't uh, work out, okay? Okay. So, so next up, you all know that I have lost a lot of weight, and I kind of waited. Oh, see, I used too much there. <laughs> Okay, I kind of waited until I got exactly to where I wanted to be with my weight before I started buying pants because uh, you never know. I don't want to buy things and then a month later I had to buy more things because those things were too big. Because a lot of the things that I shared with you for the holidays, I can't wear. They're all huge on me now. So. Um, I will hand them down to people that will absolutely love them. They will not go to waste, my friends. And I told myself that I am no longer going to save clothes that are big because I have no intention of gaining the weight that I have worked so hard at losing. So I'm not going to do it. I'm all about changing my body composition and just building muscle mass. And the only way I'm going to do that is to stay disciplined and focused and motivated, my friends, okay? So that's what I'm doing. Okay, I, so let's get back to um, my outfit. So I went to Chico's and I was looking for jeans and I have never been a huge fan of skinny jeans. And I'm kinda glad they're not around that much anymore, but they still do sell them and women do love them. So if you love them, you keep right on wearing them. I'm not one that, because somebody in the fashion world said, Oh, skinny jeans are out. You're out. You're out of style if you wear them. Because if you feel comfortable in them and they look great on you, then that's what you stay with. You go with it. Uh, I have never followed the rules of what Hollywood or um, fashion trends say because it may not look good on you. So why do you want to put yourself through that? So anyway, I wanted. I like wide leg jeans. I always have. Now I did try some of their girlfriend jeans on and none of them really looked great because they, they sat too low on my hips, I think. So they didn't really look great on me and I thought, well, I don't know. So I bought a pair of them and I brought them home and I kind of tried them on at home because I think they have trickery in their mirrors there. <laughs> So I did bring them home and I just didn't like them. So I brought them back and they were just hanging up some new jeans they were getting in, or denim. Some people like to call them denim, and uh, you know I think most people just call them jeans because that's what we call them, but they are made of denim. <laughs> but anyway, um, I saw them and I thought, oh, I love those. But I'm really funny about wide leg things. They have to be either dress pants, and if they're jeans, I don't want them to look like I've got a boat connected to my legs. I just don't. So I tried these on, and I think they are fabulous. They're high-waisted. I think they are very flattering. They are perfect in width as far as the thigh goes, because I am not a, I do not have long legs. I am actually a short-legged girl but I have a long torso. However, I am 5'6". I used to be 5'8 and a half, and boy, do I miss that two and a half inches. Uh, and I can't even make it up with shoes anymore because I can't, I can't stay in them that long. But anyway, um, I just think these are great. And I thought, okay, I wanna pair this just with a nice white blouse. And I'll tell you what I like about Chico's blouses. They have a little give to them, a little stretch. And they wash nicely. They might cost a couple more dollars than you see in another store, but you can wash it. And if you wash it correctly, you're not going to get that dingy white. You'll keep it nice and white. Um, but it has a beautiful stretch to it. And uh, it's still very tailored looking. So I picked one up and I think it is perfect with these jeans. And now the next thing I have to do, because believe it or not, my feet changed a little bit. Uh, I think they're a little bit smaller because some of my shoes are a little too big for me now. And um, I, uh, I'm in between. I don't, like, I don't like to wear flat shoes all the time. The only time I like flat shoes is if I'm being extremely uh, casual. Uh, but I can't do the high heels anymore. I just can't. And unless I'm holding on to dear, uh, Lou for dear life. And um, 
I, uh, I want the in-between. So that's what I'm looking for now is in-between heels. And if you have any suggestions, but I want them to still be stylish. I don't want square toe front. I still want them to have a little bit of a, a point because I like the way it elongates because I do have short legs. So I want to elongate that part as well to make my legs appear longer. So um, if you have anything that you have picked up that has a, a nice little uh, heel, not a kitten heel, but um, you know, it's not crazy. It's just, it's, I don't know. I'm all about comfort, but I still want some style. But anyway, I think these jeans look fabulous. I love the top. I don't know what jewelry I'm going to pair it up with. It will either be uh, maybe the earrings I just bought from uh, Chico's or it, perhaps it will be um, something beautiful from Dean Davidson. He has a new collection coming out. Ooh la la, it's an orange stone. Oh my goodness, my friends, I'm so excited. Anyway, um, these shadows are not bad. They're not bad at all. I just a nice kind of Valentine looks. It's just a plummy tone and I think it's beautiful. They really blended nicely. I've had other shadows from them too. Okay, and I also just wanted to touch base a little bit. It seems that many of you are enjoying my little workouts that I put on Instagram. If you're not following me on Instagram, I post things there because, uh, like my little exercise, they're just little snippets, but they're just to motivate you and maybe give you some ideas. I'm not an expert in any way, shape, or form in weight loss. I'm not an expert in exercise. I'm not an expert in nutrition, but I do a lot of research and I've been very successful at it, especially most recently. So, um, you know, if you, if you want to maybe find a little inspiration for your exercising or, you know, I post the dogs on there or, and then sometimes I just post my looks of the day or something like that on there. So uh, Instagram, it's, it's really, um, it's not TikTok, my friends. So if you want to follow me on Instagram, the link is always under my video. We would love to have you there with us. Uh, I have a, a beautiful community here on YouTube, and I also have a beautiful uh, community on Instagram that is really supportive of an aging woman. Uh, I don't really get much slack for growing my hair out. Uh, so I really, I appreciate all of you and I'm just so lucky to have gotten a good batch of human beings. <laughs> um, okay, so eyebrows are done. Getting back to um, the exercise. You guys really seem to enjoy that. So I'm going to continue to do that and I will tell you, since falling the other day, it has really made me focus on core. So I have, I have been doing my core, but I don't do the usual core. I do not like planks because I have a slight tear in my rotator cuff and I have really bad arthritis in this hand and through the thumb joint. And I also have tendonitis. And doing planks, although they're fabulous, uh, they really hurt other parts of my body. So I avoid them like the plague and I am absolutely the type of person when I'm exercising, if I do not enjoy what I'm doing, I just can't, I, I'll, I'll either stop or I just don't do it. So I don't like sit-ups. They hurt the neck area. I think that most people do sit-ups wrong. Uh, so I just found other things through researching on Instagram and uh, online basically. And I do like to go to a lot of physical therapists because they uh, really, they're trained. They're trained. And then there are some personal trainers that I will follow because you can tell when they're talking that they know what they're talking about. So uh, I really, um, I like a guy, his name is Athletic Lean, I believe. He's on Instagram and um, now he's big and bulky. You're never going to get that way, so don't worry about that. But he really has helped me a lot work around my tendonitis, just in finger placement on my weights, grip on my weight, weights. It's really amazing if you, you know, if you're serious, you can find anything to help you through some of your ailments. Um, I did want to use a Pat McGrath blush today. This is a single blush in case you can't get 
uh, that beautiful set that I'm always talking about because it was a limited edition. I want you to see how beautiful her blushes are. Now this one here is very vibrant in color. And this one is the um, Fabulous Flirtation and Sexquisite Seductions. <laughs> the names and again i'm going in with my bk beauty 106 which is a mini foundation uh, brush but i am using it for blush placement now look at the pigment to that blush no way would i smack that on my face right now so i'm just going to touch that and really work it into the fibers of the brush and then i will go in and place it which gives me the ability to build it up to where I want it. But look at that blush. It is beautiful, my friends, just gorgeous. I was talking about exercising. So I'm going to continue with that, but I am, my first one is going to be focused on core because there are some core exercises that I have learned to do and my core is getting so strong. Don't ask me how I took a fall. I think because my feet are dry and I was on a, I think it's called travertine or travertine, travertine I think, stone floor. And I don't know, maybe one of the dogs, you know, maybe there was some little spittle from them or drool or something, I don't know. But I, mm, I went down, I thought, I thought I was gonna bleed to death and just die there without Lou being home. <laughs> It was scary. It was very scary, and I'm not a wuss at all. I handle pain, and I get right back up, And but that one took me for a loop. But anyway, uh, so I'm going to do something along that line, and I think you will all enjoy it because we, most of us, well, I think everybody can benefit from core, but I think many of us are at the age where... Um, Having a strong core is very, very important, all right? Okay, so my camera cut off on me. I am wearing the Fit Glow Beauty. This is the Buff Pencil. Let me just show it to you. All right, so that's it. And I have three new Fit Glow Beauty uh, colors. Two are uh, not new, but this one here called Joy, which is on my lips is brand new let me show it to you on its own it is definitely a violet undertone pink but it's very very pretty you know that these are my most favorite glosses ever and that is it with the liner so i think it's really really pretty beautiful and then and this one here is nude. And then I thought this one was really pretty. It's almost no color. It's just a sheer pink. But I thought it was just really, it's really, it's like a real tender pink. I don't even know if you'll be able to pick up color. It's such a tender pink. So if you're somebody who really doesn't like a lot of color on your lips, but you need to have some sort of gloss, I think everybody should wear something on their lips. Uh, that would be a beautiful shade to try because it's not in your face. It's very, very subtle and really, really, it's just a really, it's a precious pink, we'll say. Okay, okay so I'm just finishing up here and I am going to use the Beyond Mascara, which is from City Beauty, which you can, again, until from February 10th until February 14th. So today until the 14th, you can save 35% on City Beauty site-wide. And I do like their mascara. And again, I told you all the products that I like. They will be listed and linked below. 35% is a great savings. And don't forget that Silk and Pure, if you leave a comment below, you will be entered in. And I'm going to say I'll give it 48 hours, and then I'll pick a win, uh, winner and submit your information to uh, Tanya from Silk and Pure and she will take care of everything else from there. So you'll be dealing with Tanya for your actual gift. And this is one coat of the mascara. It's a really nice mascara and it has a really great wand. Love the wand. And also don't forget that you can save on Zip Beauty. You can get 25% off in the month of February and the Silk and Pure, uh, the code goes for the month of February also. 
So you can save with both of those companies as well. I love my zip. I am love back it. with my finished look. I ended up putting two coats of mascara on. Love it. And I did decide with the Dean Davidson collection, I just love the signature necklace and I love the large earrings. And I just thought the blue was perfect for this look. But I did want to share again, because I shared these the other day. These, these are the earrings that I purchased the other day and they are really, really cute. And they did come in a silver with a white stone, okay? So I'm gonna so I'm get up and share the outfit with you. My belt is too big for me now, so I have to have another hole punched into it. And, uh, but I did wanna show you what it would look like if you could wear your belt and it fits you the right way. But I also but wanted I to uh, share a, another way that you could wear the look. So let me get up and I'll be right back with you. Okay, so here is my belt, too big for me, I'm holding it to where it would fit. So this is what it would look like if you were wearing a belt with it. So let me back up so you can see. These jeans are spectacular as far as I'm concerned. They are just beautiful. I love the way they fit. They have just enough room in the thigh area because believe me, I lost a whole lot of weight, but I still got me some chunky thighs. <laughs> anyway, they do have room in the thigh area. They fit nicely in the butt, I think, and I love the pockets on them. They are higher waisted, which I like for my age, my body type, everything. They do have a little bit of wash to them, but not too much that it's going to make my thighs look bigger. I just think they are fabulous. They're soft. They have just enough stretch to them. I just think they are fabulous jeans just beautiful i absolutely love them the the leg on the bottom is just wide enough it has a wide hem on the bottom so it just really is stylish i just think that they are fabulous so let me take the belt off so if i take the belt off because some people don't like belt belts you could wear it like this. I do think it's a finished look, but there are times when I don't like a belt at all. So here is the shirt untucked. You can see that it comes up a little bit on the sides. It's a little bit longer in the back. If you're somebody who likes to cover up the back end, it has a really nice flow to it. It has three quarter length sleeves, which I happen to think is very stylish. I don't care what the trends say. I love a three quarter length sleeve. I don't think it's aging. Many of you ask me, what do I feel about three quarter length sleeves? I, I think they're great. I think if you're comfortable wearing them, I just think they're classy. I really do. I don't think they're aging. I find that I usually push my sleeves up when they're longer. I push them up because I just think it looks chic. So I'm okay with three quarter length sleeves. And if you're somebody who likes to wear your collar up, the collar is made so it can be worn up or down, however you choose to wear your lovely white blouse. The blouse has just a teeny weeny bit of stretch to it, not a whole lot. Now, there is a new look, trend, whatever, that I don't care for at all, and that is this look where they tuck in one side and they leave the other one down. I don't like that. I think it's sloppy. I know it is the trend, and that's fine if women want to wear it this way, but I guess I just want to say to all of you, if you don't like this look, because I don't, don't wear it. You don't have to. So another thing you can do here is you can unbutton the last two, and you could tie the front if you're someone who doesn't care for belts and you can just wear it very casual this way. You can leave this flap down in the back if you want to cover up a little bit or you can roll it up a little bit if you prefer to have more of a tailored look. I just think this is, I love these jeans, my friends. It's been a long time since I have loved a pair of jeans, and I absolutely love these. Love, love, love them. All right, my friends, so that is it for today's video. I'm going to let you get on out of here. Don't forget about all these fabulous sales from City Beauty, Silk and Pure, 
and Zip Beauty. All the codes, everything will be listed and linked below for you, as well as everything that I used on my face today. If you haven't already subscribed, I would love to have you as an Ageless Beauty. Go ahead and hit the bell. That'll let you know of all the videos that I'm putting up. Until the next time, my friends, go out in the world and be lovable. And remember, it is okay to love our age. I love you all. Bisous.